Here, officials in Hawaii now confirm at least 99 people have died following last week's wildfires on the island of Maui. The search operations are now stepping up across the island with more than 1,000 people still unaccounted for. And as CBS 2's Jessica Cartelia reports, it comes as local authorities are now facing criticism over the way the fires were handled. Desperate West Maui residents waited in long lines for hours for a pass to get temporary access to their homes. I don't know how things gonna be because we don't have no housing or whatnot, so we just hope for the best. In Lahaina, search operations are stepping up with more than a thousand people still unaccounted for. They will find 10 to 20 people per day probably until they finish. Hawaiian officials are facing criticism over the failure to use those warning systems and for not cutting the electricity, which may have sparked the blaze. An investigation is now underway to determine if a down power line caused the fire. Nothing would make us more pleased if we couldn't go back in time and have a lot more protection from sirens. As survivors look to return home, looting has also become a major concern. There were some people who were went back to their places and sheltered in place because their homes were intact and they had to fend off potential uh, break-in. The Maui Humane Society estimates that more than 3,000 animals are lost. Jessica Cartalia, CBS News, Maui. <laughs> And if you'd like to help out, you can check out a list of ways that you can donate to victims of the fire. It's all for you at CBSNewYork.com.